Hi guys! Before I proceed, please like this video, turn on your notifications to receive updates whenever I make a post. Thank you! So, I bring you gist from the energy sector. Dangote Refinery has already started producing diesel fuel and aviation fuel and also gasoline. Well, this will help reduce Nigerians reliance on imported fuel and create jobs, don't you think? Well, Dangote, the chairman of Dangote Group, expressed his pride in his achievements and commitment to Nigeria's economic growth. Just watch the video. To see what the tests have been and of course the products. Do you want to just speak to what this is really? And then This one is the uh, gasoline, this is the PMS. Uh, you can see the diesel, you know, because I'm sure most Nigerians, they have never ever seen this uh, color of diesel. But this is what you call Euro 5 diesel. It's less than 10 ppm. And, uh, you know, I mean, that is sulfur wise. Okay, so this is what will really help actually to help the engines, vehicles, you know, you name it, you know, generators, it will, they will last much, much longer. The health of people to the environment will not be polluted. This is the real thing. Euro 5 diesel for the first time in the history of Nigeria. And of course you went through some rigorous testing to get to this point. Very briefly, you, you know me, I'm not going to let you go now. So could you just speak to what exactly were you tested for? We are actually testing for all parameters. And I think it will be good maybe before you go, you can go and put up a little bit of, uh, you know, this. I know you've done it before. But you can go with uh, Mr. Edwin since I'm rushing to the airport and show you our lab. Our lab actually does not have, it's not number two, it's number one in the world. And I can, you know, beat my chest and tell you that. All right. Well, lots to look forward to. We unfortunately have to wrap up. I think I must congratulate the people of Nigeria and uh, the government of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu for giving us all the support to be where we are today. Uh, this achievement really, you are right, in the last 28 years, we haven't really had this sort of achievement, but you can see that even uh, uh, there are some videos of 1974, which we have fuel queues, and those fuel queues, they are still here. This will eliminate all fuel queues in Nigeria. This will improve the health of everybody, this will also make sure that, you know, uh, there is consistent supply to the market. It will also bring the real demand of PMS, no paper transaction. It will also help to make sure that, uh, you know, it corrects this distortion of the Naira, bring stability to the Naira, bring uh, growth, and growth, development, and prosperity. So we want to thank Nigerians for being behind us to be where we are today but this is a very very historic moment. It certainly is and there's so much to look forward to. Of course you're holding the prized uh, material, the prized gold here. Simo, of course you and Edwin have also been a part of this process. How do you feel about this moment? We spoke earlier and which I will update our audience later about you know when things are going to happen, when it will hit the market. Of course that's subject to the NNPC but let's get your, your brief sentiments on it very quickly. Well, um, history has been made. Um, we're really excited. Another one. This is another video of VP Kashim Shetima leading a delegation of high profile political leaders to pay a condolence visit to the family of the Yara Duas. This is like the most beautiful video I've seen on the internet today. Look at how they are peacefully sitting down as if they are not political rivals. Another one. So, 
very dark man made some shocking revelations. Just watch the video first. Alright, what I'm about to reveal now, I'm pretty sure if it gets to the people involved, they will quickly try to destroy evidence. However, I am willing to work with the Nigerian police and give them the evidences I have. And also, anybody that feels that I'm lying, they can sue me to the law court and I will bring evidences to back up whatever thing I am posting now. Yesterday, I sent Mobad Wife Instagram handle to my hacker, the person that hacks for me and gets my evidences. So when I sent it to him, I said, check this name and Iabo if the IP matches. He said, I'll start the work now and once I'm done, I'll let you know the result. The geolocation is very delicate. Toss the shortical proce uh, procession. Let me start. Then I said, okay. Um, I sent him that message around 11.25. So this morning around 1.04 a.m., he sent me a message and he said, this one no even put in any effort. Same person. She's literally just switching accounts with one device. CIP address. Same CIDR notation, same IP address. She is the laziest and lousiest I've seen in a long while. Now, let's quickly analyze the IP address. Now, as you can see, HTTP Instagram underscore C33Y underscore. That is mobile wife. Now, the IP address is this. DB IP 0109-2024. IP address 163-70-147-174. Now, let's quickly check Iabo Ojo's own. As you can see, HTTP, Instagram, Iabo Ojo, Fresh Free, DB, IP, 0109-2024. IP address, 163-70-147-174. As you can see, the two IP address matches, meaning this, um, these both accounts are being logged on one phone. And we all know who, obviously, Iabo Ojo. The question is, why is mobile wife Instagram logged on Yabo Ojo's phone? Obviously, she's actually the one posting on behalf of mobile wife. That's number one. The reason why I said the evidences will be destroyed immediately it gets to them is this. If you remember, I came online and I said, this lover IP address match with Tonto DK's IP address, which I can bring back again to judge you guys' memory. This is this lover IP address. As you can see, Instagram just lover underscore media outlets um, 18560219174. Tonto DK 18560219174. Immediately I dropped this video, Instagram just um, lover deleted the account and lied to the general public that the account was disabled. The account was not disabled. They tempered with the evidences. Immediately I posted it, they went to go and delete it. So nothing happened. It wasn't disabled. They deleted that account. They understand that's why i said they will temper with evidence now let's go back to all this case if you remember yabo ojo this lover and tonto they came for this case also let me take your mind back again you remember this video now if a camera was installed there let's even assume that the camera was installed there the camera is outside now not inside the living room not in their bedroom not in their staircase outside Mubad died inside the house so even if there was a camera you all heard the abojo that's from my mouth she said even if the cctv in the compound the cctv will not capture what happened inside the house because mobad by inside the house and cctv camera was outside she sounded very sure i still ask the question again i say yabojo how did you know mobad by inside the house ladies and gentlemen the truth of this case is this mobad wife is not innocent obviously the truth of the matter is it's possible 100 possible that she was the one that physically attacked the boy and maybe not deliberate maybe not trying to harm him then mistake happened and the boy by you understand that's why they dropped the, the boy body on the ground and they waited for not for nurse to come from kotonu now if you remember the testimony mobad wife gave she said the reason why they didn't rush mobad to hospital quickly is because mobad does not like the hospital your husband they buy you say you know carry on go hospital because the guy no like hospital but at the end of the day when you don't eventually buy you call the carry on the rush go hospital now the three boys in that video what are they saying do you understand what are they saying anyways like i said mobile wife is the number one suspect on the 12th of september we'll make it one year since make it one year since mobile buy 
These people came and said Moba didn't have any money or they are parking properties. Moba didn't have anything. But they said they wield uh, Mobad rights wheel, Mobad bought land and he will it to his son. Do you understand? Say so he will it to his son. Now, according to my investigation, the Malian record, Mobad left to $75,000. Now, these same people again try to pin it on Prime Boy. And Prime Boy is also saying the wife knows a lot of things about it. This same wife does not have time to talk about anything pertaining Mobad, but you have time to go and pack properties for Mobad house. You understand? Nigerians, I know a lot of you women are very sentimental, but I pray something like this does not happen to your family members any day, anytime soon. And here, Bojo, I want to tell you this. You have children. I think you have a son and a daughter. I'm not even sure, but I know you have a daughter, but I heard that you have a son. Now, you have a son and a daughter. I pray in high heavens that nothing of this will happen to your children and i pray whatever thing you have involved in this mobad case i pray it doesn't haunt your children but if you feel what i'm saying now is defamation of character or i'm lying you can sue me to the law court and like i said i have evidences to back up my claim thank you very much like i said well i love it when people come out with facts and evidence Let's keep our fingers crossed and watch out for more. This is your number one source of news and updates on the latest happenings in the world of politics, entertainment and more. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, comment and also share our videos. Bye for now.